Hello and welcome back to the Bookshelf Odyssey. This is my weekly wrap up for the final week here in March, but I haven't posted one in a while. I had one week where I didn't really finish any books and then I had, uh, I think the week after I finished a ton of books and I just felt like too many to, to get to. And I didn't really have any incredible standouts in that. I got really behind, so I thought I'm just gonna start fresh, share with you what I finished up reading this week because at the end of the day, this is my channel. I can do what I want, right? The book two police aren't coming to take me away, are they? Um, well, I, I hope not anyway. Uh, so the two books I read probably couldn't be more different from each other. Uh, first of all, I read uh, Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. Josh over at the Sci-Fi Bookery is doing a new book club called The Book Was Better Book Club, something like that. And the first book he picked to, to read was uh, Jurassic Park and I read it as a kid well I read it as a teenager and absolutely loved the, the films and I love the Jurassic World films that came out something you know it's a movie all all six films what are they about it's a it's a they're movies about dinosaurs running around eating people and th that's pretty much what they are and I love it I'm here for it so but for me Jurassic Park was one of the first scary films I ever saw and just cemented in my mind that Steven Spielberg is and always will be the greatest director ever. And I will not be taking any questions on that. Okay. <laughs> he just fantastic. And rereading the book now that I had, hadn't read in 20 years, maybe, maybe longer, uh, actually longer. Yeah. More like 30 years. Holy cow. How old am I? Goodness. Anyway. Yeah. About 30 years ago, I read the book for the first time. Yikes. So there's that. With that in mind, rereading the book was a real treat. Uh, it reminded me again of what a good adaptation the Jurassic Park film is to the book. There were a lot of similarities, uh, some parts where I think the book probably was better just because it had room to explore and, and to, um, you know, explore character motivation, things like that. But I would I would be very challenged to say which I like better. I'd probably say I like the movie better, but don't hold me to that. <laughs> okay. And don't kick me out of the book club. But yeah, yeah. Well, we all know the story of Jurassic Park. Some scientists meddle in sciences that they probably shouldn't have. They create dinosaurs. Dinosaurs run amok, eat people, break out of their ha habitats. All, all You know, it's your classic horror movie uh, tropes and... I don't know what else to say about it that hasn't already been said about it, except that I read it and I absolutely loved it and would recommend the book or the movies to anyone who likes, who, who just wants some fun science fiction reads to, to unwind with. What I, what I guess I like about Jurassic Park is it's, it's pretty simple in, on one hand. It's not trying to be something it's not. Uh, you know, he, uh, Michael Crichton raises some good questions about um, science and how far is too far and do we need we should stop to think about what we're creating and what we're doing before we just go ahead and do it just because we can uh, and I think Ian Malcolm points that out both in the movie and in the book uh, which I, I, I thought was pretty fun I, 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 um, a nice call out there but at its heart it's it's a, a story of monsters that that destroy its creator. Mary Shelley did, did it first with Frankenstein. You know, I got thinking, I think I commented on somebody else's um, YouTube video that it would be really fun to pair a modern classic with an old classic. And I think she had just read Jurassic Park and it reminded her of Frankenstein. And I can't remember, unfortunately, whose channel that was on, but uh, I, I thought, you know, that would be great. Compare um, two modern classic, you know, modern classic and old classic. There'd be some good comparison there. So then I got thinking about what other classic books would compare to a modern classic. And that's about as far as I got though. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I read Jurassic Park. It was a fun read and I'd recommend it if you want some classic science fiction, horror, you know, creation run amok story. Uh, it's, it's the perfect read for that. And then um, I also read a book called This Victorian Life written by Sarah Chrisman. Uh, this was a like a memoir about her and her husband uh, and their love for the Victorian period. They love it so much that they are living it as much as they can 
uh, in their day-to-day -day lives. Uh, so they will wear Victorian appropriate garments. They use the Victorian technology in their house as much as they can. They have just immersed themselves completely into their study of the Victorian culture. Uh, her husband is a bicycle um, fanatic, you know, and so he he rides around his town with the, the bicycle with the big wheel. I, for, I forget what it's called, but they are unashamedly expressing who they are. And I absolutely love her story. Uh, I first came aware of, of them, of the Christmans, because they lived in Port Townsend, which is a town I used to live in. And I loved reading about her memories of le living in modern Port Townsend and sharing some of the history uh, of, of, of Port Townsend. It's a, it's a very Victorian style town. A lot of old Victorian houses are, are everywhere. At least they were when I, I lived there. And I, I loved reading about her adventures and learning about how the Victorians lived and her challenges, you know, as a 20th century or 21st century uh, woman trying to adapt to that culture and what works and what doesn't. And all of this as well, she is a, a, a very well, a, a very gifted writer. Uh, I found her prose to be very engaging and loved hearing her stories about um, taking, uh, you know, a Victorian bicycle trip over um, Deception Pass and, and different other places that were treacherous on a bicycle, let alone when you're, you know, dressed up as a Victorians would be dressed up on a Victorian aged uh, bicycle. You know, some of the things she experienced, uh, I'd read to my wife and say, oh, well, doesn't that sound like fun? You know, oh, this, this sounds, this sounds so neat and so cool. And, and I don't think I've convinced her that we're going to turn back the clock anytime soon to, to live as the Victorians did. But I think it's wonderful that there are people who are, who love history so much. They're willing to, um, you know, to, to actually live it out so that they can have an even deeper understanding of what it was like. You know, it's, it's the difference. It's like reading a, a, a historical account of say the battle of Gettysburg versus reading the account of somebody who actually was there, uh, whether actually in the battle or somebody who actually went to the battleground and toured it and everything. When I, when we went to visit Gettysburg, you know, after that point now, whenever I would read a book about Gettysburg or a history book about Gettysburg, it just came to life to me in ways that it didn't before because I had been there and saw, but then to add to that element, the experience of it as well, I think really informs her writing. This has been one of the best books I've read uh, this past year, um, just in its entertainment, but also its education. You know, I'm just inspired by their love for history and, and keeping those things alive, that those old ways of doing, of doing things, the old technologies, you know, that in some ways, are, are they any better than what uh, we have today? Uh, and in fact, some of the, the technologies we have today are probably more harmful to us than technologies of the past. It was really fascinating. It's a thought provoking book. And if you like Victorian culture, um, I'd recommend you read this and see what experiences she had uh, living as a Victorian. She also writes Victorian set stories. I did something I never do, which is I'm actually reading two books by the same author at once. And, and I never do that let alone read one after the other. But uh, I, I decided to read her first, uh, I think it's more of a novella, but it's a book called Love Will Find a Wheel. It's a story set in the Victorian era in a fictional version of Port Townsend that she calls Chetsamoka, which uh, there's a park in, in Port Townsend called Chetsamoka Park that I've been to countless times as a child. I, I'm recognizing things in the book that are still there, you know, in Port Townsend to this day, or at least when I lived there last, and it was so fun uh, to read that. I'm about three fourths of the way through with that book, and it's it's a really sweet and charming love story. It actually feels to me a lot in style to um, like Anne of Green Gables or Little Women. You know that that kind of a story feel to it. If you like those, you'll like this book. And it looks like there's about four or five books in that series right now. And you can get them on Kindle. Um, you can order them on Amazon. I got mine on Kindle. Um, oh, it also reminds me a bit of like the, the Avonlea series, if you remember that back in the in the 90s. Uh, it has strong Avonlea vibes that I'm really enjoying. So th this book has been like a, a breath of fresh air of just coziness, relax, relaxing read. 
I've been reading a chapter or two every night right before bed. And it, it's just been a lovely way to unwind after a long day. Highly recommend it. She's an excellent author. Check out some of her work. I'll, I'll link her uh, YouTube channel and uh, Amazon channel down below. She, she's got a great YouTube channel as well where they have filmed some of their adventures in fixing up their old Victorian house, uh, trying to keep it as much as they can to, um, you know, the Victorian era technology and what that is like. That'll do it for my, uh, for my reading wrap up this week. What have you read this week? Have you read anything good that you'd recommend? Let me know in the comments below. We'll keep the conversation going there. And until next time, take care and happy reading.